welcome students in the organic chemistry lecture series in this lecture we are going to study a very important concept in organic chemistry that is neighboring group participation if we see any kind of important examination then there is a question on this group that is on neighboring group participation now we'll see what is neighboring group participation actually this type of effect is observed in nucleophilic substitution reactions uh, you know that sn1 reaction and sn2 reaction nucleophilic substitution reaction now in that if we consider the sn2 substitution reaction then there is a attack of nucleophile to remove the leaving group now in this neighboring group participation what happens uh, it is the reaction in which adjacent group temporarily assist the reaction now this addition group is generally internal nucleophile having with lone pair of electron this internal nucleophile attacks on reaction center and it helps to remove the leaving group and after that it reverts back to the original position this phenomenon is called as ngp when we take the example at that time you will easily understand what is the meaning of this neighboring group participation theoretically if you do not understand this then it's okay in further examples or mechanism you will definitely understand what is this now this ngp is not a shift or not a rearrangement of atoms we know that there are different types of uh, reactions for example shift reactions uh, for example rearrangement reaction okay but this is not a, a type of reaction it is just a temporary effect or temporarily phenomenon observed in nucleophilic substitution type of reactions okay now if a nucleophilic substitution reaction occurs with this neighboring group participation effect then the rate of reaction increases because this addition group assists the reaction how by providing the driving force for reaction to occur it pushes the leaving group from the back side so it becomes very easy to the leaving group to go away that's why we can say that if in nucleophilic substitution reaction ngp is there then rate of reaction increases it can also called as anchimeric assistance or synergetic acceleration so this is all about theoretical uh, explanation of this neighboring group participation now we will see the mechanism of neighboring group participation and in that you will easily understand what is this phenomenon so we'll see the mechanism of this ngp students there are two steps of the mechanism in step 1 see what happen if we take the starting material say for example this is the general starting material now we'll see that this x is a leaving group here and this y is adjacent group this carbon and this carbon are adjacent to each other so this y group is we can call it as a adjacent group now this adjacent group has a lone pair of electron so it attacks on this carbon which is reaction center and due to attack of this adjacent group leaving group goes away easily okay so this is the first step attack of adjacent group on reaction center now what happen further see this addition group attacks on this carbon and this x that is leaving group goes away and there is a formation of this intermediate now this intermediate is called as bridged ion intermediate so as you see that there is a bridge and it is positively charged so it is called as a bridged ion intermediate this x is a leaving group now this uh, first step is called as intramolecular nucleophilic substitution now say this y attacks from the on this reaction center and x goes away so we called it as a nucleophilic substitution but this is intramolecular that means uh, the nucleophilic substitution takes place within the molecule within the molecule so it is called as intramolecular nucleophilic substitution friends this is the first step of neighboring group participation effect and this is the slow step okay because there is a formation of intermediate now in second step what happens see if we take this bridge ion intermediate then now whatever nucleophile we have in the reaction that nucleophile attacks on this carbon or this carbon it depends upon the nature of this 
starting material or nature of this intermediate. This nucleophile can attack on this carbon or this carbon. Okay. Now, if we consider that this nucleophile attacks on this carbon, then what will happen? Nucleophile attacks here. This bond goes on this adjacent group. So, ultimately, what will be the product? This Y will be on its original position and here there will be the nucleophile. Now, if we see uh, the nucleophilic substitution pattern here, then this is intermolecular. Why this is intermolecular? Because this is external nucleophile which attacks on this carbon. But here, nucleophile was internal nucleophile. So, it is called as the intramolecular nucleophilic substitution and this step is called as intermolecular nucleophilic substitution. So, this is the mechanism of uh, NGP. I think you have understand the mechanism. Now, we will see the example of this neighboring group participation. Now, see the first example. Now, consider the uh, this example, this pH, yes, single bond, uh, CH2, CH2, Cl. Now, if we see this starting material, then you will find that this is sulfur having lone pair of electron. So, this can be easily attack on this reaction center and it helps to remove this chlorine from the starting material. So, consider it as a Y and this as a Cl that is leaving group. Okay. So, as soon as this sulfide I, uh, electron attacks on this carbon, there is a removal of this chlorine and there is a formation of this intermediate. We called it as a bridge ion intermediate or three member ring intermediate. Now, this ROH is the external nucleophile that is second step now. Okay, this is the first step attack of this sulfide uh, electrons on this carbon, removal of chlorine and formation of three member ring intermediate. This is the first step as we see earlier. Uh, and this is the second step. This external nucleophile attacks on this carbon or it can attack on this carbon and there is a formation of this final product PHS CH2 CH2 OR. So, this is the very famous example of neighboring group participation. Now, let's see the another example. See this. Again, if we consider the this starting material, then this bromine is having a uh, lone pair of electron. This OH is also having lone pair of electron. But we know that this bromine is a good living group. So, this OH attacks on this carbon this is reaction center and bromine goes away oh attacks on this carbon bromine goes away so there is a formation of there is a formation of three membered ring intermediate now you see the stereochemistry here this bromine is on upper side because it is represented by wage line so it is on upper side so to push this bromine out this oxygen has to attack from the back side okay so that's why this bond which is formed between this carbon and oxygen is represented on the rear side. So, this is the stereochemistry of the uh, nucleophilic substitution. Okay. So, this is the formation of uh, intermediate, three member ring intermediate, and then external nucleophile that is OH attacks on this carbon to form the product. Now, product which is formed is with retention of stereochemistry. Okay, Re retention of stereochemistry because this OH comes exactly at the same position of, on the same side where bromine was. Okay, so this is another example of neighboring group participation. So, uh, these examples are very important to understand the neighboring group participation concept. Now, consider another example. Now, see here also uh, this iodide is a living group. It is on the rear side of this carbon. Uh, the, this sulfur has lone pair of electrons. So, this sulfur attacks on this carbon from the upper side because this iodine is on rear side. So, it will attack on back side. Okay. So, the sulfur attacks here and iodine goes away. So, there is a formation of this intermediate. This intermediate. And in next step, this external nucleophile Br- minus attacks on this carbon to form the product. Here also there is a retention of stereochemistry. So, these three examples are very important to understand the 
concept of neighboring group participation now we will see further examples see this examples of anchimeric assistance by double bond now sometimes double bond also uh, work as a neighboring group participant because uh, double bond means two electrons we know that and this double bond also assist the uh, to uh, leave the leaving group so consider this example in this example this ots is the o tosylate is the leaving group this double bond attacks on this carbon and there is a removal of this leaving group so there is a formation of intermediate there is a formation of intermediate this is the first step this is slow step and it is rate determining step now in the second step uh, this naoac now this aco negative this is the nucleophile here this nucleophile attacks on this carbon and there is a formation of this product okay so in this example which group act as a adjacent group this double bond here also see in this example also this double bond attacks on this carbon and this ots goes away there is a formation of intermediate this is the first step which is slow step that's why it is rate determining step in second step this external nucleophile oac attacks on this carbon to form the product now in this third example also double bond work as addition group it attacks on this carbon it attacks on this carbon and ots goes away there is a formation of three membered intermediate again external nucleophile oac attacks on the carbon to form the product so friends double bond can also act as a neighboring group to favor the nucleophilic substitution reaction now here some comparison is given given say for example instead of this starting material if this was the starting material in this reaction then the rate of reaction will be very less but if double bond if we take here double bond then the rate of reaction increases by 10 to the power 11 11 okay so you can understand how important is neighboring group participation effect if you take without double bond starting material then reaction is very slow if you take uh, reaction with double bond then reaction is 10 to the power 11 times faster here also if we consider uh, this as a starting material instead of this then reaction will be very slow but if we take uh, starting material with double bond then the rate of reaction is 1200 times faster as compared to this here also if you take instead of this starting material if you take this starting material then the reaction will be very slow but if you take double bond here then ngp phenomenon will occur and the reaction will be very fast near about 30 times faster than this starting material so friends you have understood now uh, the anchimeric assistance by double bond so in this video we have seen what is the neighboring group participation its mechanism along with examples so this was very important point in organic chemistry in any kind of examination such type of uh, questions are asked in multiple choice questions or in descriptive type questions everywhere in any examination there is a 100% question on this anchimeric assistance so ngp and anchimeric assistance both are same it's like just uh, this phenomenon helps the nucleophilic substitution reaction it helps to remove the leaving group that's why the speed of reaction increases so the reaction in which ngp is there the reactions are faster so remember so i think you have understand this anchimeric assistance phenomenon so today we will stop here and we'll meet in the further videos tab tak ke liye thank you have a blessed day have a safe day